Hey guys, it's Jenin here from Boot Mode. In this episode, we're gonna show you our Z4 M40i. our Gen 2 B58 software support back in 2019 with the Supra being the first model. It was, I believe, September. And after that, we did BMW B48 and B58. So ever since then, we've been slowly adding features and releasing off-the-shelf map updates. We also did the custom ROM release in 2021. So throughout that time, this car has seen some hardware changes that were necessary to test things in the software. So basically, we've gone from sort of a stage one build that had a downpipe on it. We put an intake on it as well at the time. Intakes really don't do, you know, a hell of a lot on these cars. So really a stage one, stage two sort of build with the bolt-ons would include your downpipe and running the stage two map. You have ethanol maps in there as well. E30, the other day we did the E50 map. It runs about 24 PSI in the stock turbo and it does really, really well for the stock turbo setup. At that point, we got a pure 850 turbo. We put it on, we started, continued pushing. We got the car to about seven something, 700, 750, 770 wheel with port injection. And we had the transmission built by Pure Drivetrain Solutions. We got a stage two transmission from them that received an extra update in that time. And we also got the torque converter higher stall, 3,500 or 4,000 RPM from them that we could do you know, things with at the track, try to get the car, leave off the line. So at that point, we were pretty much maxed on what the hybrid turbo could provide and we had to go with an aftermarket setup. On this particular car, we have installed the full race twin scroll manifold. Initially, we had a precision 6870 turbo on it with a three inch downpipe. Then we changed it to a 7275. We kept the three inch downpipe because that's what we had at the time. And the car made 1075 on our dyno here. It's dyno jet. It was on Ignite Red, so 90% ethanol, running flex fuel and map switching and all of that good stuff from the custom ROM. And at that point, we basically got to a certain boost level on that 72-75, where the stock head gasket didn't really play along. It got pushed at about 50, 52 PSI, and we really wanted to go there and see where this limitation is. You hear a lot of stuff you know, out there about things breaking or stuff happening, but unless you actually try it, and when we do things, when we do our testing, we're very gentle with everything. <laughs> Not that 50 PSI is gentle. <laughs> but all of the changes are done incrementally and we do a lot of pulls on our dyno and out at the track to make sure that, you know, things are staying together. We look at the cylinder bore, all of that good stuff, which basically tells you the health of your motor over time. So at that point, when we crossed 50 PSI and we did, I think it was just a handful of pulls, coolant started shooting out of the expansion tank and we actually caught it on our camera in the dyno room, it was pretty cool, but it wasn't cool cleaning up all of that coolant. <laughs> Nice. When we opened the motor, we saw on one of the cylinders, the head gasket got pushed and we sent it out to our local engine builder, Peter. He's a pro mod engine builder, has been around for a long time. He's been helping us with the engine builds here. So what he's done is he reached out to his contact for Firelock head gasket and we've ordered it actually for all of our shop cars here. We're gonna be putting them in into all of the engines because we like pushing things. So the first one to get that Firelock head gasket is this motor that'll be going in to the Z4. So with the Firelock head gasket, we're hoping to not have that issue if we pass 50 PSI again. Really, it's not an if, it's whenever we get there.
Another thing we have changed, we've noticed some back pressure issues with the three inch downpipe. Of course, when you're pushing that much boost, even though it's an open downpipe, it's just a turn down style exhaust. We wanted a bigger downpipe so we don't have to think about that anymore. And we built a four inch downpipe and that'll go hand in hand with a bigger precision turbo. We're gonna try a 76, 75 on it, see how that goes. And we'll go from there. The, the manifold from Full Race is a twin scroll manifold. So the turbos were used using our divided housing turbos and we'll see we'll see how that goes once we have it back on the dyno so along with the changes that we're doing to the car and the hardware on the car we're basically in the middle of working on releasing the custom ROM for the gen 2 cars and the supra oh my god wow it'll cover both the two port manifold and the six port manifold supra the b58 and the b48 so you'll have your map switching on the steering wheel you'll have your flex fuel with basically a supported canvas based flex fuel sensor and there's anti-lag there and along that we have some features that are coming that we haven't had in our custom rom releases in the past which we'll talk about another time okay no more. Tell me why. No, 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 no. Okay, one more time. We got it back in February, and uh, what clear was said? Let's go play. Play some ping pong. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Yo. What the. Again. It's a beautiful morning. Cut.